Good wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. I gotta show you this. Hold on, I'll take you outside. So yesterday, I spent about an hour blowing out the coats of all the dogs. You can see they're all nice and shiny. Kira was by far the worst. And I didn't catch it on camera, but there was a ball of fluff that blew over here. So there's some fluff there, and some fluff over there. <laughs> Kira this morning chased it to this fence and was standing here. What's over there, Kira? Kira, what's over there? What's over there? She's like, guys, there's like a ball of fluff and it's over there. <laughs> she was certain that it was some type of animal. She did not realize that it was most likely her floofs. Look at the floofs. There's so many floofs. And we clean. uh oh, that one left the yard. Oh no, the floofs are escaping. They must be escaping because there was like four times this amount yesterday. But at least you look prettier. Look at it. You look all nice and soft. Kira doesn't look so disheveled. That needed to be done real bad. And for those of you wondering, because we didn't really do a New Year's Eve video and it's already past the New Year, we still have the live Christmas tree. But it is, I don't think it's going to last until January 17th, which is normally when we leave it up until... I, oh my goodness, the woos. The woos. So we're probably going to take it down maybe today or tomorrow. I think it's got to come down. But we're leaving the office tree up. That's the plan. And yeah, all of our snow melted. And when I say all of it, I mean all of it minus that little tiny pile back there that for some reason is still there. Other than that, it's all melted. Well dang, I'm on my way to the post office. I wanted to show you guys the ice waves, but it looks like the ice shifted way out in the bay. But we're gonna get out for a minute and check this out anyway. Many years ago, I came down here and filmed on a really windy day. Oh, there's some over here of the ice waves. And they sounded so cool. And I thought I was going to get lucky today, but everything's kind of shifted out, so we've only got a little bit of ice here. Oh, by the way, look, they redid the boardwalk. It's no longer falling apart. We can walk out here now. There's still ice. Hear how cool it sounds. Look at those big chunks of ice. There's some ducks out there. I don't know if you guys can see them chilling on the ice. You can see where the big shelves of ice are out there. This was all frozen just a couple days ago, but then the wind shifted pushed everything out. You can see over here, this looks like glass. How cool this looks. This is all frozen frozen right now though. I wouldn't walk on it frozen, but it just looks like shards of glass. So the other day this was all moving like waves, but now it's kind of shifted back out. Burr, that wind is cold. So before we continue on this adventure, can you see what's behind me? So you guys know we do a Christmas card exchange over on our main channel, Gone to the Snow Dogs, every year. And <laughs> My Jeep has become the mail truck. I had no place to put stuff this year, so I started leaving everything in the Jeep. This is everything you guys have sent. So for those of you that are saying, hey, did you get my card? Hey, did you get my package? One, if you send a package, you should always get tracking so that you know if it got delivered. Two, I have no idea, but the back of my Jeep is full. I haven't gone through this yet. Jamie's going out of town this weekend, so my job is to go through all of this this weekend, send everybody a card back this weekend, and then we'll do the live stream on Gone to the Snow Dogs on January 14th. That is the plan. So if you've been waiting for that video, that's when it's supposed to go up. For those of you that are like, oh, that's so far past Christmas. The reason we do that is we want to give you guys time to get your cards to us. And we know that, you know, storms and mail delay and things like that. So we usually do this video the first to second week of January, which I think works out perfect because it kind of, everybody's kind of back to normal and things can just uh, continue as they're supposed to. But yeah, I have to go get more mail today. And uh, realistically, if you're seeing this and you didn't send a card, you kind of still have time. Maybe if it shows up before the live stream, it'll make it in the live stream. So if you can get it here before like the 10th of January, there's still a chance it can make it in the live stream. Maybe, we'll see. We put the cutoff at December 28th for uh, the post office mailing date just because like, I'm not gonna send you a Christmas card back if you send me a Christmas card in March. I just can't, I can't keep track of all that. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna go check the ice at the bay and then we're gonna go to the post office and get more stuff. Well, not much different down here. The ice has shifted way out there. So I guess we're not gonna get to see too much more ice. I still think it's amazing that it's January and we don't have snow. Crazy, but that's Michigan weather for you. Okay, off to the post office we go. Yeah, I just picked up another big box. The back of my entire Jeep is full. So yes, I definitely have my work cut out for me this weekend. It'll be fun. Normally Jamie helps me with it, but since he's gonna be gone this weekend, I kind of have this plan to have it all set up, watch some movies, 
do some things, and get it all done. Will I do it in three days? <laughs> we'll find out. Lunch time for the puppers. Eleanor's like, um, excuse me. Hey, oh, sit, ready, leave it. You're just the best. That face. Okay, take it. <laughs> she knows exactly what she's waiting for me to say. You guys never figured that out, did ya? Neither of you ever figured out we you did a little bit okay with leave it. You never did very good with it, but you blow my mind. Which, speaking of training for the dogs, Eleanor is going to be doing more dog training, I think February, in the end of February. I think we start up dog training again, intermediate dog training two. Heck, and while we're talking about announcements, if you haven't noticed yet, there's been this cute little thing going across the screen. We're going to Florida with all three dogs to the Tampa RV show. So if you guys live in, near, or around Tampa, Florida, it's January 20th and the 21st, I believe. We will be at the Tampa RV show with the dogs doing a meet and greet. We'll be at the Jayco booth. You can go to our Facebook page and look at the events. All the information is there. I'll try to remember to also put a link down in the video description below. Oh, and for those of you wondering, yes, I'm still soaking their dog food. I started doing it for Memphis when she had the stomach ulcer. They all seemed, she seemed to do really well with it. I figured might as well do it for the other dogs because it's good for their kidneys. Dry dog food can be really hard on dogs. And normally as they get older, I would do that. But uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it all the time now because why the heck not? They seem to like it. It's like they get food gravy. There is also some canned food in their food today. They get canned food a couple of times a week as well. Yes, one of these days I will do another routine and show you guys all the stuff we do for the dogs. But right now, there's eating, there's dinner. What? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> we had to kick the other dogs out because mm -hmm. Memphis got really feisty and this is her favorite toy. This is a Memphis only toy. Uh -oh. Only Memphis gets this toy. Let's see if we can get her up to get it. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta like move it really slow. <laughs> and then make it move really fast and then she's like, this is the greatest toy in the world! <laughs> this is the best! This is my favorite toy! And I find it so funny that she plays with this, but she won't play with Kira's tail teaser. Yeah, yeah. This is her size. She's like, this toy is the best. Yeah! <laughs> you get it! You get it. That yours. That your dragonfly. Somebody got this for her many, many Christmases ago, and I keep it hidden from the other dogs, so only Memphis gets to play with this. Like maybe, nope. I don't know. Maybe I'm done. Nope. Nope. I'm not done. That your dragonfly. I have to find another one of these in case this Can ever gets happen. damaged. And sometimes when you think she's done, you gotta like move it a little fast and then bring it back towards her, and then pull away, bring it back. See. Sometimes it's just that fast mo <laughs> mo movement where she's like, what? That little thing's flying it's, around. It's a bug. It's a bug. Yes, the other dogs yeah. got locked out. It's okay. I know. I can almost see their little noses. But if we let them in here, they try to wreck this. <laughs> so yeah, they do. They can't have it. Yeah. Okay, so you guys saw Memphis play with her toy. Mm -hmm. Kira's like, that one, that's mine. That's my <laughs> toy. So now we have to separate these two so they don't bash heads no 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 no. that's kira's that's not yours that one's kira's all right so let me <laughs> kira's like dad it's mine all right kira you get your couple minutes of playtime. yes with the best toy ever please don't go through the front window <laughs> she's like this is the greatest toy on the planet and i love it and if you guys don't know what it is, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for it down in the video description below. This is the Tail Teaser by Outward Hound, I believe it is. And it has been Kira's favorite toy forever. She has a couple of them, just in case she ever destroys this one. We've replaced the little end piece on it. Wow, you're flying a few times. Now you see why we have to separate the dogs when we play this game. Watch out, Memphis is coming through the middle. <laughs> Slow moving Memphis. <laughs> And that's what I was saying, Memphis could care less about that toy. She only wants her dragonfly. So what we'll do is we play with Kira for a little bit, and then this dog is like, but I really would like to play with that toy. You can in a minute. So she gets a few minutes, and then Eleanor gets a few minutes. Okay, we got Eleanor's. So she can play as well. <laughs> Memphis is right here on the, on the Spirit Hood's bed. And Eleanor's like, this is amazing. I, this is the greatest game on planet. You gotta be really fast with her, because when she catches it, 
She does not like to let it go. She wants to play the tug game where like when Kira catches it, she lets it go because she knows that means it gets to keep going. Eleanor, hey, Eleanor, leave it. Hey, leave it. She's like, I kind of left it for a second, <laughs> but then I picked it back up again. But see, she just wants to tear it up. Hey, give it here. <laughs> Hi, Memphis. How you doing? So everybody gets their playtime. They all get equal playtime. I know a lot of people are always like, how do you do that with each dog? Well, they just take turns. Mm -hmm. And that is actually Eleanor's toy. You'll notice that one's black and white. <laughs> Kira's is. And you can see Kira's just fine. Yeah, like she just watches. Yep. And like I said, we keep them separated like this because they will bash noggins. And yeah, I, they I don't both, want any teeth knocked it. out. Good, or... good thing Memphis. I mean, she, she occasionally usually gets does, out of the way. But yeah, she she don't go for it. Like yeah, that. not like they do. <laughs> not when they're doing it. She's like, nah, I don't, yep. I don't need to do that. All right, don't rip it up. You won't get to play with it no more. You know, I was literally just talking about how we have no snow and it's January. It's raining. Get in here. You're getting all wet. She's like, mm, no, I'm good. It's cold. It should be snowing, but it is sleeting. Are you dancing, Kira? Kira's like, I'm doing the dance. Get in here. You're going to be soaked. Oh, my goodness. Now I have to dry you all. I'm sure, uh, maybe, I don't know. Nobody's ever really said anything. But have you guys ever wondered why there's like a towel hanging here? There's a, usually a towel in my office and there's usually a towel hanging either here or on the one that goes into the basement. It's because whenever the dogs come inside from the rain, we dry them off every single time. Otherwise they get everything all wet. So I'm gonna dry them off and then send them to bed. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the routine right now because Jamie's vacuuming the dog hair off the bed for the night, which is also a nightly routine. So. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Can I get a boops? No. How about you? Can I get a boops? Can I get a boops? Oh, come on, give me a boops. Boop. Thank you.